So basically the funny thing is that um, Prince Harry bought a painting two days before he announced that he and Meghan from the Suits were officially together. Um, so they were like, did this painting close the deal of them being together? And I thought it was really funny. I wanted to take a photo but I just couldn't. Uh, I wasn't allowed but it was funny. I just arrived on Pimlico Road. It's one of my favorite streets. It's between Pimlico and uh, Sloan Square. And what I like about it is that there's many places where you can actually sit on a terrace in summer. There's lots of interior um, inspiration. And there's just cute shops everywhere. And there's one of my favorite um, art galleries, which is called Ransom. And I'm actually uh, going to Ransom right now. I accidentally um, got there last year and I was really inspired by what I saw in the window. So uh, this time uh, I'm gonna go in. Ooh, they still have that one. Wait, I'll show you. It's just mesmerizing looking at it. Like you can look at every brushstroke and you can look at the painting as a whole and you never get bored. So now I'm going in stair uh, in in stairs inside and see uh, what they've got on. So glad they still had the, that same artist. Uh, I found some other ones that were really interesting. The ones that I showed you at the end uh, of this man going like all the way like this, and then like all the emotion that's in there and pain as well. I saw a lot of pain in there. Um, I know that one was cool. What do you think? Kind of reminded me of my days as a tennis player and. Uh, I used to have a lot of pain in my body, which is also why I had to quit playing tennis. And I don't know, the emotion that was in there, in that painting, kind of touched me. And I think that's what art is all about, it should touch you. Um, maybe it doesn't touch you, but I mean, it did touch me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it for now. Oh, I see I'm still blue, it means that I'm still in the inside uh, mode. Wait, let me change that and then I'm heading to the next gallery. the Michael Hoppen gallery. Um, it was really different uh, downstairs. I don't want to take too much time because it's definitely not a match but basically downstairs reminded me of Stranger Things. I don't know if you've watched it um, but it definitely reminded me of that. Do you think so too? Let me know. And upstairs was really beautiful nudes so, which is a really nice inspiration for me as I'm doing a body painting at the moment. Maybe you've already seen something on my Instagram. If not make sure to follow me on Art by Anne Claire Fleer. Because uh, that's what I do. I'm uh, doing some body painting and we're making nude pictures of models in body paint. So pretty awesome. Um, now off to the next one. Hey guys, it's getting dark. Which means that I'm wearing my hat because it's getting colder. But this also means that at the end of this day we'll be able to go to the ice rink at the National History Museum that I showed you earlier. And uh, with dark and all the lights, it's going to be so pretty. For now, there's five more galleries that I want to do. And then um, 
will end at a National History Museum. See you later. Gallery number one. And two. Doesn't really look like my style, but uh, it sure does look interesting, so let's go inside. South African uh, artists, but the good thing is that I had a really cool conversation with uh, the guy that works there. He had an interesting story. He worked as a carpenter before, but he got so bored that around September he just applied for a random studies. He studied African art and now he ended up in this gallery and he's loving it. Um, I exchanged business cards and um, yep, yeah, it was good. I got energy from that and now on, uh, on to the next one. like the kind of thing that I need. They do a lot with emerging artists. Also a good thing. Um, price is under 10,000. Maybe it's not a match for now, but that is something one that I want to keep on my radar. So that sounds like a, a good one. Um, so it's great that I walked in there and um, <laughs> busy schedule. I'm going to the next one. There's three more and then I'm done for today. Um, I really need to work on this and cover smaller areas in London, okay? I promise you. This time there's a lot of art and then next time we'll see uh, what I do next. it for today. Uh, there were two, uh, two of the galleries that I still wanted to visit were closed but I ended up at the Walton Fine Art Gallery and uh, it was this really st funny story because I couldn't go inside and apparently it's a really big thing and I couldn't film. I oh, sorry I could go inside but I couldn't film. So basically the funny thing is that um, Prince Harry bought a painting two days before he announced that he and Meghan from the Suits were officially together. Um, so they were like, did this painting close the deal of them being together? And I thought it was really funny. I wanted to take a photo, but I just couldn't. Uh, or I wasn't allowed, but it was funny. Okay, um, this was it for today. I hope you enjoyed all the art I'm sh I was showing you today. Um, I think in West London I have to expect uh, less matches with my artwork because it's really high-end and a bit more posh than in East London. Um, I don't mind because for me it's really inspiring to see what's going on here and there's still a couple that I think I should keep in mind for uh, the future. For example the dot project that you just saw is a really interesting one and I'm sure that that is going to be a great opportunity for me later on. Um, so I'll keep that one keep that one in mind. Um, I make notes of all of that. So for me, it's been really fruitful, and I've really enjoyed today. I hope you did too. 
Um, the last thing, of course, as I promised you, is that I'm going to show you the ice ring by night, uh, by dark and uh, with all the fairy lights. So, love. Some people are looking at me, I'm like, <laughs> awkward. Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you that and then I'm going to head home and enjoy a nice glass of wine at home and cook a nice dinner for my boyfriend. So thanks for watching and um, yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the, uh, in the comments. Um, if you liked it, share the love with a heart, subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I can see it, I can smell it. See you soon.